In this video, we're going to take a look at slip and rotate tool in Logic. These tools have been added as part of the 10.8 update and they can be found in the tool menu, slip tool and rotate tool. They work in a very similar way. Both tools allow us to move the content inside an audio or MIDI region without us having to resize or move the region itself. Let's take a close look. Now this audio region is four bars. If you shorten it, we only see two bars, but we know that if you extend it back, there is a four bar worth of content with this region. Now, if I select the slip tool, I can slide and shift the content inside until I reach the end of the original region's length. And I cannot go any further to the right. And we can go back to the left as well, but we cannot go any further once we reach the beginning of the region. We can do the same with MIDI regions. The only difference is that we enter an empty space once we exceed the region length. An important thing to note is that my movement is quantized with the snap value. So I'm selecting beat here, meaning that every time I try to slide this, it will move beat by beat and will snap to the grid. If I select bar instead, it will only move by bar. Now, what about rotate tool? Let me switch to rotate tool. Rotate tool works just like slip tool. The difference is that the content inside is looped. So we never reach an end and we can keep rotating as I am doing right now. And we can rotate MIDI regions as well. So slip and rotate tool can be useful for both corrective and creative purposes. For example, for corrective use, we can use them to align the timing of multiple audio regions. And for creative use, we can use them for coming up with melodic and rhythmic variations. Here's an example. I have a chord progression and a bass line. Now I can keep the chord progression as is, but shift the bass line to come up with a different combination and a melodic variation. So I moved it to the left by one bar and that's one combination that works. Let's try another one. The last one, maybe I can move this up to B flat to match the key. Let's try something similar with a drum loop. Let's try arranging the rhythm of this drum loop. I'm going to grab the scissors tool and set the snap value to smart. Duplicate this region so I can make changes here. And now I'm going to zoom in. And while using the scissors tool, let me set this back to the scissors tool, hold down option, and it will give me this plus sign and make one slice here on the grid. And it will give me equal slices for the whole region. Now I'm going to select the slip tool, select beat for the snap value. And let's try moving some of these hits around just randomly and see what we can come up with. So as you can see, I can come up with rhythmic variations pretty easily without having to physically move these slices around. 